Uh, the tensions there with Iran. Let's bring in uh, uh, Mohsan Milani. He's professor of politics at the University of South Florida and also executive director of the Center for Strategic and Diplomatic Studies. Um, why do you think, Professor Milani, that Trump is pushing for a deadline of November to see those U.S. sanctions on Iran in full force, as he said, his words? Uh, the, uh, the November deadline is uh, supposedly for uh, reimposition of U.S. Uh, uh, unilateral sanctions on Iranian oil and gas industries. And uh, as you know, Iran uh, gets about uh, 45 to 50 percent of its uh, foreign exchange from oil sale. And the, uh, the plan, the U.S. plan, is to bring Iranian oil export to zero. Whether they can do that or not is yet to be seen, but it seems to me a good number of countries, including China, Russia, and the European Union, are trying to find a new mechanism whereby they can bypass possible U.S. sanctions on those entities that are dealing with the Islamic Republic of Iran. So Donald Trump uh, warned those who failed to comply with U.S. sanctions on Iran. He said they'll face consequences. Who is he targeting and what sort of consequences are we talking about? The, from the very beginning, the, uh, the assumption, or shall we say the hope, of the uh, Trump administration was that Iran would get out of the nuclear deal and that they, they, being the U.S., would be able to build a new global consensus for a nuclear deal with Iran. So far, they have been unable to achieve that goal. And it's very clear that the European Union, China, and Russia, the main signatories of the historic nuclear deal, are going to find ways where they can bypass U.S. sanctions. Of course, this is going to create real tension between, especially between the United States and the European Union, because the European Union, as an entity, is a strategic ally of the United States. They are in full agreement with the U.S. about a number of issues, such as Iran's missile program and Iran's activities in the region. But when it comes to Iran's nuclear program, as we have seen today at the uh, U.N. Security Council, there is almost universal consensus that the nuclear deal has worked so far and it must be protected. and. Uh, in case we want to add something to it, there are internal mechanisms within the nuclear deal which would allow for revision of some aspects of the historic nuclear deal. Iran said it's going to stick by its commitment to the nuclear deal, the JCPOA. President Rouhani urged the U.S. to stop bullying. Now, interestingly, Trump had a note of praise for Iran, saying it slowed down the attack in Syria on Idlib. So what do you make of the language coming from both sides? Yes, the, uh, the praise was specifically of the role Iran and Russia and Turkey played in preventing the Syrian army to enter into Idlib province, where we have a number of terrorist organizations, as well as a number of non-terrorist organizations who, are, uh, who have opposed the Assad regime. As a result of the intervention by the three countries, the Assad government has decided not to enter into that uh, province uh, in order to prevent a, a disastrous humanitarian crisis. All right, Professor Milani, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your insight.